How are we doing today guys? Today is episode 1 of a brand new series to my channel, Trade Day Thursdays, alright? So with inside this series, I'll be teaching you guys how to make lots of coins with inside Madden 17's Ultimate Team and FIFA 17 Ultimate Team. Uh, they will alternate every week, so Madden the FIFA, Madden the FIFA, and so on. So as you guys can see, we're on Madden this week, FIFA next week. Let's get into it. So, our topic today is badges. Badges have been making me a lot of coins ever since I started playing Ultimate Team. They're very simple. It's straightforward. It's nothing too serious. All right, you just sit back and let me teach you guys how to do it. So, as of right now, an elite badge sells for 25,000 coins. May seem like a lot. Not really. What we're going to do is get elite badges for under 13,000 coins and sell them. I'm going to show you guys how. So, let me bring up a chart I have for you guys. All right, so here's my chart, and it's labeled as you guys as you guys can see, bronzes to elites. All right, so how we're gonna do this is we're simply gonna upgrade the bronze badges to elite badges. It is time consuming, but don't worry because there's three different tiers to this investment trick that you guys can do depending on how much time you actually want to spend working in the auction house. Obviously, the more time you spend, the greater your reward is going to be. So, five bronze badges equal one silver badge. Now since this mathematical statement is correct, 25 bronze badges equals five silver badges. All right, you guys still following me? It's just simple math. We're just going through the conversion rates of how many bronze badges it's gonna take to get an elite badge. So if 25 bronze badges equals five silvers, which equal one gold, then 125 bronze badges equal five gold badges. And then five gold badges obviously equals one elite badge. So in theory, if we were to snipe 125 bronze badges for 100 coins per bronze badge, you would have an elite badge that came in to a, for a total cost of 12,500 coins. That is about that is exactly 12,500 coins under what they're going for right now. So, like I said, we just simply use the sets that they gave us and we just put the cards into them. And it's so simple. It's something that is going to make you a lot of coins and a lot of coins fast. Um, so I'm gonna go to the auction block and I'm gonna show you guys how you filter to actually search for bronze badges. You don't filter through the sets. That's the one thing you don't wanna do. So I'm gonna go to bronze. And by now. So you wanna have your quality set to bronze and your program set to badge. Now it is 4.30 in the morning here. So I don't know if we're going to get any bronzes for 100 coins. So simply what I do is I just keep hitting the bronze. And they just keep refreshing. Okay. So once you guys see those come up for 100 coins. And they do get listed up all the time for 100 coins. Like I said, it's 4.30 in the morning. No one's really playing the game. You just buy them. You buy them and you put them in the sets and you upgrade them. Now, like I said before, you can obviously do this in multiple tiers. So... If you wanted to do it for silvers, be my guest. I would recommend under about 800 coins per silver badge. And if you're doing the golds, which is personally how I do it because I don't have the time to sit here and do it, 125 bronze badges. The quickest way for golds is under 4,000 4, and below, actually. Then you just snipe them. Um, like I said, if you sit here on the golds, you'd be surprised how many actually are under 4,000. Um, I get quite a few for about 2k to 3k. Um, if I have to, I buy them for 4,000 because you still make the coins. But obviously, the lower you go in, in uh, badge quality, the more coins you make. So if you do four gold or five gold badges at the price of 4,000 coins per badge, that's 20,000. You sell for 25,000 times that 10% tax. That's 2,500 coins. You're only making 22,500 coins. You're making Initially, you're making 2,500 coins back from the Elite Badge. Um, but, if you were smart, you would probably do this and then wait. If you were to able to get a whole bunch of Elite Badges for about 12,000 to 13,000 coins by doing the Bronze Badge method, um, and just wait, because you guys know they're going to be dropping more sets, more programs that are going to need these badges, and then once these badges come, or once these programs come out, you sell the elite badges. I mean, you flood the market. That's just how you gotta do it. Um, especially this year, because this game's really easy to get a lot of things in. A lot of sets are pretty straightforward. They're pretty simple. 
So, I would wait for Birds of the Playoff Master. You're going to need Elite Badges. You're going to need Elite Badges for Ultimate Master. You're going to need Elite Badges for the Christmas and the Halloween promo, probably, and Thanksgiving. And they haven't even announced if Legend Badges or Ultimate Badges, whatever you want to call them, are even in the game. So, if they're not in the game, that means all your high-rated Legend cards, your 97s, your 98s, your 99s, and who knows, maybe 100 overall cards. If we see them this year, because EA did tease them last year, you might need Elite Badges. And if you were to get them for 12,000 to 13,000 coins, and they go up to 50,000, that's 38,000 coins you're making just from sitting on your Elite Badges, alright? So this is a really good thing if you want to do a long-term investment or a short-term investment, because either way you're making coins. They won't go back down. You'll never see Elite Badges around 8,000 coins again, unless there's literally nothing in the game for them. That was a really big problem last year. They were utterly worthless last year. And I think EA realized, EA realized that, and then they fixed it. So they're always going to have a current set out that requires Elite Badges. Uh, they just took the, uh, the large quick sell of the game. They have the elite player exchange in the game right now, which you need a um, elite play, two elite players and an elite bench, and then they also have what's the other set? Damn, I can't remember. Ah, the flashback badge. You need a, for five elite badges, you get a flashback badge. So once they drop better flashbacks, you'll need elite badges. So just these whole bunch of variables. They're gonna, once they're plugged in, the elite badges will go through the roof, and you guys will be sitting here thanking me because I told you guys how to get these badges for about 13,000 coins. So that's all I have for you guys today. Leave a like down below if I taught you guys something to really uh, change your mind how you see the auction block because it really is so easy to make coins in this game. Awesome. Leave a comment below if you guys are going to use this or how many coins you actually made from doing this method. On top of that you guys like my content make sure you hit that subscribe button. We have these tips coming every Thursday for Madden and FIFA. Also, if you guys want to come see me play live, head over to twitch.tv slash dave underscore plays underscore game. Uh, over there we play Madden, FIFA, Battlefront, Call of Duty, a whole bunch of awesome games. Really fun time. We talk about, you know, what's going on in the world of sports and other things that might happen. Also, if you guys have any questions or comments about, you know, me, or you guys want to talk FanDuel, I do play FanDuel. Um, or you guys want to talk about, you know, FIFA or Madden, the new cards that came out in these games. Head over to twitter.com slash dave plays underscore that will take you right to my twitter page link will also be in the description and on my channel so hope you guys enjoyed this video check out all my other awesome videos i have and it's been your boy dave i'm out